if somebody wants a boathouse, they have to figure out what they want to do with the boathouse. Are they going to have a boathouse? Are they going to have a boat in the boathouse? If so, what kind of boat? So you have pontoon boats, you have deck boats, you have ski boats and john boats, all kinds of boats. So once you determine what that is, then you can determine what size of boathouse is good. However, here in Central Florida, we find that a lot of the people that uh, are building boathouses want to have a boathouse that will sell with the house that's going to be the right size of boathouse for whoever buys the new home. So in that case, we recommend a 30 foot long boathouse. What that gives you is a two foot B berth and then 28 feet worth of dock or rather slip so that the people can have a ski boat. A ski boat might be 22 foot, maybe 24 feet, and then have a two foot uh, dive platform on the back. So you want to get all that underneath the roof. That's why such a long boathouse. Then you want to look at, uh, are the people going to want to entertain on the dock or is it just fishing? If it's just fishing, then you would have an open deck. It wouldn't have to necessarily have a roof on it. If they want to entertain, however, then maybe they want to get a covered deck. With a covered deck, you can do special lighting and have TVs out there and mist systems, kind of like air, outside air conditioning. And um, you can have a refrigerator and different kinds of things. Depends on the municipality uh, where you're located as to how much stuff you can have and how big of a terminal platform. Terminal platform is whatever's at the end of the dock. So the dock leading out is usually four or five foot wide and then the end of that is terminal platform. We do a preliminary design when we are working with the customer and do like a little sketch to determine what the size of the boat slip is going to be, the boathouse, the covered deck, open deck, the length of the walkway, and that kind of thing. Once that's prepared and the customer agrees to the pricing and the scope, and we enter into an agreement, we will have all the engineering and the permit applications prepared as long as we have the customer survey with us. Then once the uh, permitting and the applications are all sub submitted, the engineering is submitted, then it depends on the municipality. Some of them are a couple of weeks, some are a, a couple of months for approval. Then once we get the project approved and we have a permit, then it goes on a list of projects that we have that are permitted and ready to go. Then we have to wait for one of our teams that's most appropriate for that particular job, whether it's a seawall or a dock, to be available. It's usually two to four weeks before that crew is available. Then once that crew's on the job, then they're on the job every day. That is usually between two and four weeks for a regular boathouse or seawall project. It's basically square footage is what determines the price of the uh, amenity. So it's square foot of roof, square foot of deck, um, and that all adds up to get, get the price. So it's a, it's a very wide range. The, the better the decking, the more expensive. You have just all kinds of different things we can do with it.